years, we hear about a hurricane hitting some part of the world. Not only does it cause human lives, but devastation of natural and urban properties. Hurricane Sandy and Irene were Category 3, while Hurricane Irma is a Category 4. Now, what exactly is the meaning of these categories for the hurricanes? Well, let's find out. As Irma makes its way towards the eastern U.S. coast, it has now been upgraded from a tropical storm to a Category 5 hurricane. Hurricanes are classified into five categories using the Saffir Simpson scale, with the highest number representing the most powerful storm. Hurricanes are categorized based on wind speed. The higher the category, the stronger the winds and the more damage to be expected. In a Category 1 hurricane, wind speeds blow between 74 to 95 miles per hour. Downed power lines, broken tree limbs and minor home damage can be expected. With the Category 2 hurricane, wind speeds are between 96 to 110 miles per hour. These can be extensive damage to houses and trees, while power outages can last for days or weeks. A Category 3 has wind speeds of 111 to 129 miles per hour and the potential to cause devastating damage to roof decking and gable ends. In a Category 4 hurricane, wind speeds range from 130 to 156 miles per hour and have the ability to cause catastrophic damage, with the possibility of leaving areas uninhabitable for weeks to months. The last is a Category 5 which has wind speeds of 157 miles per hour and over. During a Category 5, there is a high percentage that a home can be totally destroyed.